on our way to Isla Mujeres and now of course it is an island so we need to be taking a ferry from Cancun. So we are on the Ultramar Ferry. It leaves about every half an hour or so and it runs all day. And it's already looking so beautiful here. I cannot believe the color of the water. Totally. It's so, so <laughs> turquoise blue. And yeah, it's only supposed to be about a 15 minute ferry but I'm sure it's gonna be really beautiful. Well, how good do we look? <laughs> Can you tell that uh, we chose the windy part of the ferry? <laughs> I feel like my hair is so knotted now anytime I like touch it. Oh man, that was Ruined. fun though. Oh, it was awesome, so beautiful. <laughs> I cannot believe, again, like all the blue spots mm -hmm. that kind of show up in the water just makes me want to just jump off the ferry. Like, yeah, it's like Gatorade it's water. So beautiful. So nice. But we are here, yeah. we're on Isla Mujeres and we're really, really excited to spend the day here. So most people just come to Isla Mujeres from Cancun just for a day trip or even from Playa or Tulum because it's really easy to just get a colectivo to Cancun and then take the ferry. But we're actually gonna stay here overnight to get to fully experience the island. So we booked a one night stay at Selena, which is kind of outside of our typical budget, but we booked it like two nights ago. So this is all that was available and it looks super nice online. So we're splurging a little bit. <laughs> Well, this never happens. We came to just drop off one of our bags because we're here really early, but our room is already ready. So they're just letting us check in, which is the best. But we'll give you a full tour of the Selena later, but we really want to get going so that we can do some things in town before it gets really busy. excited to be here again because we were here six years ago and I'm just like really just curious to see whether it's changed whether we've changed <laughs> I don't know it's just like it's really exciting coming to a place that we've been before um, and I think it was just like such a different time in life six years ago we weren't even doing YouTube we were yeah. just working regular jobs we had a little safari cam that safari we took all camera. around the island yeah so it's just interesting to to see how we like it here. Wonder what the weather's gonna do today. It obviously started off super sunny, but looks like uh, we might have some rain, so we'll see. 50-50. <laughs> 50-50, you never know. Ready for Christmas, sir? Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Can't even think about Christmas right now, I'm so hot. <laughs> I had to at least put my feet in the water. It's so nice. It's so good. The water's so blue, I just can't get over it. It's so nice. <laughs> Make you want to swim? It makes me want to swim, but we have things to do. <laughs> Two seconds later. Oh no! <laughs> Where do we go? Do we Let's go up here. Yeah. These people look like they might be nice. Ay! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh shoot, look at this, it's raining. Welcome to the Caribbean y'all. Sunny five minutes ago and now it's pouring. Not even. Yeah, like two minutes ago. I, really, I literally just dipped my feet in the water. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it feels nice and cool now. Oh yeah, I honestly so, welcome this kind of rain. Yeah. It's so nice. As long as you have a place to get your stuff away. Yeah, I feel like when it rains, when it's like warm out, I have no problem with it. It's yeah. When it's like cold rain, then I'm yeah. like, okay, I really can't handle that. And you know you're gonna be just wet all day. Yeah. This, you know, I'm gonna be dry and sweaty in half an hour again anyway, so. <laughs> well, change of plans. We're gonna have some lunch here. Now you probably already noticed that everyone and their dog 
is driving around in golf carts and scooters here. And that's kind of the cool thing about Isla Mujeres is that there aren't actually that many cars here because it's an island. Um, so everybody just has to get around in that way. A lot of hotels actually have golf carts, I think, available to their guests. Of course, we, are, we don't have one. <laughs> Sadly. But what we want to do right now is to go and rent a scooter to get around the island. <laughs> okay, this is our moto, I guess. <laughs> Ready. So ready. Hard rock. Hard rock, rock cafe. On. You probably don't know this, but Eric used to be in a scooter gang. So this is uh this is his sweet spot. <laughs> oh yeah. He looks so good with that. We're ready. Okay, quick. <laughs> Decent. Renting a scooter is already so worth it. <laughs> You're not just driving around the island, like you have all these views. It's insane! There's viewpoints that you can stop along the way. This is, I love this. Look at this water! <laughs> it's so blue. Ah, I love it. <laughs> Amazing. Actually, I didn't watch him do it. Just hold on to these things, I guess. No way to put our helmets in there. Oh, that was really quick. We're already at the end of the island. We're at Punta Sur. Wow, this is so so beautiful. All the again, the blue water. I think I think we've probably said that so many times, but it, it really is the attraction here. Like the water is an incredible color. Uh, it looks like you can actually walk all the way kind of down to the point. You have to park your cart or your scooter and then you get off and you're just in this kind of park area. Lots of people taking photos. It's really fun. So it costs 100 pesos to go to the end of the point. Not really sure why. Looks like it's uh, like a sculpture walk of sorts. I don't know, probably not gonna do it. We're too cheap, but also I feel like the view is nice enough from here. <laughs> it's super nice. Yeah, it's this so like, nice. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of going to be the same view. Yeah, as here, I don't know. So. so, probably not worth it. This is beautiful. Look at this. What more do you need? Nothing more. My turn. <laughs> Your turn. Oh boy, let's see how this goes. You ever driven one of these things before? Uh, I think a couple times, but. I don't know. They sound confident yeah. and I feel great about it. What's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah. Love when stories start with what's the worst that could happen. Yeah. That's fantastic. Hey. Oh you know, boy. You know, I don't even know if you I don't trust me. Oh yeah. Alright. See how this goes. Why don't you sound like you trust me? <laughs>
definitely the best way to see the island. Exhilarating time. Hold on. As promised, we'll give you a little room tour. So this is the micro. As you can see, it's pretty small, pretty basic room, really comfy bed. It has air conditioning, which has been really nice when we need to come back here and just kind of recoup. Uh, we have a shared bathroom and honestly, that's pretty much it. It's really basic. The wood though smells really good in this Selena. I don't know what this is, but it does smell really good. So that's a nice perk. As I said before, we don't usually stay in Selena's. If you don't know what that is, it's a chain of hotels that are kind of all over Latin America, but we usually don't stay in them just because they're pretty pricey. This room itself was $91 and like I said, it's pretty basic. You could definitely find something cheaper on the island if you book in advance, but we literally booked two nights ago. So we just gotta take what we can get. But it, I will say it is very nice. It has a beautiful pool, a lot of hangout area. There is like a co-working space and a shared kitchen. So, I mean, it has everything we need for one night, but wouldn't technically wanna stay here long-term if that makes sense. <laughs> I am very glad that I booked a place in the north end of the island because it was kind of tricky when I was looking at accommodations because you just put in Isla Mujeres, but it'd show places from all over the island. And then when I'd zoom in, they'd be like way far south and you would totally need to either take taxis or have a golf cart or something. So I'm really glad that I booked something in Centro because it's so walkable on this side of the island. Super moody sunset. Moody. Man, this is so beautiful right now. Even with the clouds, like I know everything's like really dark around, but it is gorgeous. Even without any sort of sunlight or anything, also like the the water is still so blue. I know. Like, I don't know how many times you can say that one vlog, but it is insane how blue it is. And <laughs> yeah, like you said, it's not even sunny. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's insane. And it's cool how it's so calm here too, especially on this yeah. north beach. There's all these kids playing and it's really shallow and there's not really big waves. It's just a, yeah. I don't know, it seems like a very family friendly kind of place Absolutely. to come. talking about this blue water so much, we'd be crazy not to at least jump in at once. <laughs> it's not exactly the calm beach morning I was hoping no. for, but still very nice. This water's so warm. Oh, okay. Uh, you ready? Yeah. We're doing this? We're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us down. Okay, one, two, three. I'm so happy. What's better than a morning ocean swim, than a nice vanilla latte after? Looks so good. Oh, this looks delicious. I'm I'm so happy. I was just thinking about how nice it is here. There's all these like plants. There's sand right here. There's beautiful beach behind us. Salt in my hair. I just feel so content. This is like the perfect 24 hour getaway. I honestly wish, I wish we had longer to stay here. It's been so nice and so relaxing. I would definitely, definitely agree. And I, one thing I realized is that this place hasn't actually changed all that much. We were here 60 years ago, like I said, uh, but 
I think it's because it's an island, there hasn't been that much change. There isn't much room to grow, uh, which is cool because I find a lot of these places that we go, a lot of them get more and more busy as time goes on, um, but that has not been the case here. But yeah, I think we'll just end it here. This has been such a nice time on Isla Mujeres. Highly, highly recommend coming here if you are in the area. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. We have made it already to the end of the island. So this is, I think it's like Punta, Punta Isla, is that what it's called? I actually have no idea. It's supposed to be like a chin strap. I it think feels so, yeah. so awkward. It feels like I'm at the dentist for some reason. I don't know if mine has that. It just feels so funny. Like I, I mean, I guess it's more secure, but. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't jaw. do it. I wouldn't bother with oh, it. Oh, that's funny. I was just like, what is this thing? Yeah, I'm not wearing that.